training has been perfect for this fight. Um, I've mainly focused on my cardio. My cardio is on a whole new level to where it's ever been. Uh, technically, I, I honestly feel like for, I'm, I'll always beat the person who last fought, the Josh Foster who last fought, and I just feel a lot better than what I've ever have. Uh, it's coming off a freeze on a free fight loss streak, uh, but that doesn't mean to say that I'm underestimating him in any way. Um, it's going to be tough, it's going to be game, and I'm sure his cardio will be quite good as well. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. I think most of all this will just be a really exciting fight. Yeah, I fancy my chances in this fight. I feel like I'm going to be better in all ranges, and that's what's going to lead me to the victory in this fight. So opening up the professional portion of a card here at Fight UK. Experience Edge with a 5-7 and seven pro record. Foster standing at 2-1, and one, but Foster Dave also has an 8-1 and one amateur record, so a lot of experience in between these two. Yeah, and I listened to an interview he did for Front Row MMA, Ben, on their podcast, and he was supremely confident going into this bout. Basically felt that he'd have too much for Mark Hanley. And Mark, as you say, Ben, experienced guy, hasn't had the best of runs recently. He's going to be very keen to not drop another loss here, as I'm sure he is always. But he's had some difficult bouts, like some Martin Wong at Armac and, and down in Shokanori had a tough bout. So it's going to be interesting to see how this goes. He's light on his feet, trying to work the strikes here, Handley. Bit of a, di bit of a disadvantage, excuse me, Dave, in terms of the reach. Throwing up, flicking off some nice combinations, leading with the with a left going for an upper and then a right afterwards. And Foster to me looks the much bigger, got a, a much, uh, much more lankier frame at this way and he catches the kick and he puts him down. Almost looked for a second like he had him out there but as Hanley roll around it turns out that he was okay. Anderson Silva versus James Irving S there. Yeah, excellent catch there from Foster and from Hanley's point of view, his recent losses have come via sub submission so Definitely keen to keep it on the feet here, but he has got a bit of a reach discrepancy. Just got to keep the head moving. He's calling his man on, Ben. We see this quite a lot from Hanley. The short fuse nickname. He's very, very excitable when he gets in there. If he gets a shot or two, he really goes after his man and looks to come forward. And the Josh Foster, a, a young guy with a, a two and one record, to take out someone like Hanley would be a huge scalper. Ranked in the top 20, I believe, Dave, in the flyweight division. Yeah, Hanley's a tough guy. He's been in there with some good fighters, and if he drops a loss, it's invariably to, for, you know, to a tough guy. I mean, a lot of fighters think of the term uh, journeyman as, as offensively, but, uh, you know, for me, excuse me, for me, Hanley is at, at the top of that journeyman bracket in the case of he will fight anyone anywhere, and he will be a, you know, a big task for anybody. And if you aren't a, a legit prospect or, or on your game, Mark Hanley will go through you. A very fair assessment, I think, that Dave. And Han Hanley himself, I mean, we've seen he's come up short of late with some fights, losing by submission, but a very good submission game himself. Seen him attack with heel hooks, loves the rear naked choke. I've been in fights and seen him submit quite a lot of guys. So, I mean, no shortage of talent, a very real threat. I mean, those... Those five wins on his record haven't just magically appeared. He's put guys away and he's looking to put a little bit of pressure on Foster. Foster, to be fair, looking very calm on the outside. Like I say, the Ranger fire, looking to pick his man apart. And he likes catching that kick and throwing his man a canvas. Yeah, he's controlling the center of the cage very well here, is Foster. Hanley looking busy. And for him, he's, he's had a chance to warm into this fight now. Just a chance to gain a bit of confidence. You know, we spoke about his run, and a lot of that can be down to confidence. I'm sure the fact that Foster's given him a chance to, to work his hands now, he's going to feel a lot more comfortable in there now, Hanley. That's a few times now that Foster, for me, has caught that kick and looked to turn his man round, and 
It's going to be giving Hanley a lot of things to think about. Once again, same thing. Catches that kick every time the hand's coming down, but could there be a tactic from Hanley? Is he going to fake a kick and maybe come over the top with a right hand or a big hook, which we know he's got? Yeah, Hanley's really got to get on the inside here like that. Excellent attack from him there. He's got to rush his man. Just get past that reach. Keep his head movement going. From Foster's point of view, Ben, he's doing very well here. I'm sure this is the game plan. They just wanted him to hold the center of the cage, work his longer limbs, keep Hanley on the outside. There's a little bit of blood coming down the nose from Mark Hanley now. And from Foster's point of view, the key for me, Dave, is to do what he's doing and to use that reach. Straight punch is the key against somebody like Hanley, who, because he's shorter, is having to throw his punches round to get to the target. Yeah, sneaks a little right hand in. A little bit of swelling on the eye of Foster now, I think. And now Hanley looking for the takedown, Ben. Hanley shoots in for the double. He's got the hands glass together. And now he's starting to work. Right at the end of the round. And Hanley with the knee. He's got to be careful there. A big takedown. Foster looks to finish the round on top. Guillotine attempt right at the buzzer there from Mark Hanley. And I think both corners will be content in a way there. I, I think, you know, as we say, we can't score the fight accurately from this commentating position. But Foster he took the center of the cage, Ben, landed a few more shots to me. But likewise, Mark Hanley, Doug Wildman and the team down there at Spartan MMA won't be too overly disappointed with that round. Hanley looked busy. Maybe he'll look for that in the second period, Ben. Hanley, obviously a very experienced guy, and I think you're right, he went for that takedown, and I think, I'd say he surprised himself, but also, I mean, it was an, an easy takedown for him to get, and maybe that's going to give him some confidence going forward. If he is getting picked apart on the outside, using those big looping punches to set in the takedown might be something that he wants to look at in the second round, because we have seen him finish guys on the floor, especially rear naked chokes, leg locks. He's got all of that in his arsenal. Yeah. As you mentioned, Ben, the word confidence, hugely important in any sport. I'm getting through that first period now and having a chance to sell it in. This bout could get very interesting. And then once again, live from Anthony Davies, not throwing single shots. He is looking to throw the combinations when he does get a chance. And once again, he's straight back to that takedown. I think from what we said in the first, he realizes that he can take his man a canvas. Falls in, tries to get a single, doesn't quite get it. Giving up a bit of a bad spot, but... Hanley up and a huge pick up and slam, but doesn't quite get the finish on it that he wanted. It was unfortunate there, Hanley. Foster, a bit of a blatant grab of the cage there during that exchange. Mark Woodard's had a word with him. That blood. Pouring down the nose of Hanley now Once and a again, nice little jab from Foster. Beautiful straight punches. Hanley's got to be careful here. I think he's got the blue point, uh, blueprint, excuse me, Ben, for success, Hanley. Has to get on the inside and get that takedown. I think it's there for him. From Foster's point of view, he's just got to keep working this distance. His jabs are working. He's looking for the right hand now across the corner. They ran right from Hanley is something that we know he's got in his arsenal, and, a, and a, being the shorter guy against the taller guy, it's a punch of Kudwick a lot, and an uppercut there from Hanley doesn't miss by a lot. With credit to Foster, he's doing exactly what he needs to do. His footwork's nice from the outside, and every time Hanley's throwing a kick, which is making Hanley think, Foster's coming back with something. He's either catching it and throwing, or he's throwing directly as he did there. Check the kick through the right straight. Both fighters motioning to each other to bring it on. Both marked up a bit, but Hanley looking the more marked up and Foster shoots in for a takedown. Oh, and a nice knee from Hanley there. Really beautiful, beautiful short elbow. elbow. Yeah. Great work from Hanley, but Foster, in the eye of the judges, Ben, he's still pushing the pace and secures an excellent takedown. Hanley looking for a guillotine there, Ben. And it looks to lock and control the neck. If he can swim the legs round. Foster very savvy in this position for me, Dave. Yeah, it's difficult to see from our vantage point, Ben, but I know he's definitely lost it now and looks as though Foster's in the inside control. Obviously, control with the guard is so important if you're going to look for a guillotine in that position. 
and they didn't have it and now Foster's on top knocking in some short elbows to ribs and now dives to the back and this is where we've seen him have trouble before but credit to Anne Lee straight back up yeah good match up here at Fight UK 9 great one kicking off the professional portion of the card after an all action amateur encounters and he's straight in he's gone through the neck Hanley's really struggling here, attacking the neck is faster, but look at the control from Hanley. He's trying to strip the hand down. And there it is. It's all over, Ben. Josh Foster with the rear naked choke win. It's been his kryptonite of late, almost Mark Hanley. Not able to defend the rear naked choke. Excellent back and forth matchup. But credit to Josh Foster, Ben. He took the center of the cage, had the better of the stand-up exchanges. And when the submission was there, he took it.